So tonight, we have the story of a woman who started the celebration a bit early, hitting the road with the intent of performing the national anthem in every corner of this country. Joining us now is motivational speaker Janine Stang. Forming our national anthem in all 50 states. But what I'd like to do today is share the things that actually led me to go on that mission and the lessons that helped me see it through to the end. I feel like, you know, there was a lot of speed bumps, roadblocks, and turbulence along the way. It's something that we all could relate to, right? And, you know, I feel like we're all here to learn from each other. And if I could share some of the things that I didn't see coming, it may help to make for a smoother ride for some of you. It's kind of like that navigation app, Waze. Anybody use that? Now, does it prevent jams? No, but it gives you a little heads up or an alert here and there for a little minor course correction. And that's what I hope this talk does for you all today. It's a life-changing adventure, especially for a girl who grew up in a tight-knit Long Island family. My parents owned a bagel shop. My brother Fred and my cousin Vinny. I'm from Long Island, of course. I have a cousin, Vinny. Mopping floors, cleaning grills, restocking inventory, making egg sandwiches. I perpetually smelled like an everything bagel. I was destined to be a singer. And not just any singer. One with shelves of Grammys and dozens of world tours. And my own line of perfume. But there was just one little thing that stood between me and my future of fame and fortune, and that was the fact that I was the shyest kid you had ever met. In the process of trying to face these fears and, and have this lifestyle of the rich and famous came the development of a phrase. A phrase that I would say so many times and it would lead to so many problems. What was that phrase? It's like, Matt, don't worry about it. Because when I make it big, then I'll give back. And it was about that same time that I would become acquainted with the truth of another statement. And that is that life can change, everybody can snap, in an instant. Now with all I've seen, I can truly say that America is beautiful and Americans are beautiful. And why do I love this country? Because on this soil, we have the freedom to do what we can with all we have from where we are. That's the thing that makes you tick. That's the gift that you have for this world. It's about taking that one thing home and applying it. There's a book, you might have heard of it, it's called The War of Art. It's not The Art of War, it's The War of Art by Steve Pressfield. And what he said is on the opposite side of the things that you feel the most resistant is potentially the thing that you're going to thrive at the most. If there's something that you want to do, but you're waiting for the right moment, don't wait. Do it now. Because it doesn't matter if you start small. What matters is that you start today. Well, we have one more thing called the mountain toss that we're all going to do. So you've all written your when then statement on the back of that postcard, right? I want you to all stand up with that postcard. Three, two, one, you're gonna rip the card and throw it in the air, just like that. It's gonna look like it snowed. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Woo! Give yourselves a round of applause.